अगर आपको जिंदगी में एक्शन या फिर डिसीजन या फिर जो कहते हैं ना फैसले लेने में अगर तकलीफ होती है अगर आप सोच विचार में पढ़ते हो इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग दैट क्वेश्चन ऑफ बिकमिंग सेल्फ अवेयर इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड दो स्किल्स टू अपग्रेड योर डेली एक्शन इन लाइफ शी इज द वुमेन हु हैज ऑल द आंसर्स फॉर एवरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर्स understand the question of this life that we receive as human beings and why do we make it so hard even though we know and we must realize that it could be lived in a very easy way but har ek problem solving question ke liye hame lagti hai ek technique ek approach and here is our technique expert our approach expert shrota gan welcome to your podcast with raj i like to believe that every individual is an everyday game changer because believe it or not they are doing something in their life on everyday basis that is different and unique from other people right and the the only problem is that they are not giving enough time to acknowledge their journey and they feel they've not done anything that can make a difference but take any individual literally go out on the street and just ask this random person and ask that person about his journey and you will get a lot of inspiration from them you will come across stories that will help you with your problems so i feel every individual is an everyday game changer and that is why the whole let's begin their series on instagram so that you know there's a kind of community form where people are also not feeling alone and unheard correct yeah because ab hum dekhte hain duniya mein 100 prakar ke log hote hain हमारे देश में 60 से सत्तर प्रतिशत लोग गरीब हैं ऐसे लोग जो अपने हाथ की कारीगरी से कमाते हैं मेहनत करते हैं 24 घंटा मेहनत करते हैं खुद के लिए समय नहीं होता तो इनकी मेहनत जब होती है तब इन्हें खुद भी नहीं पता होता कि अपने लाइफ में कितने तरीके से चेंज ला रहे हैं और जब एक दूसरा इंसान उन्हें मेहनत करते हुए देखता है तो उसे कैसा फील होता है बिकॉज आई गेस वो एक्नोलेजमेंट सीक नहीं कर रहे हैं बिकॉज आज के टाइम पर बहुत सारी चीज और बहुत सारे लोग वो ग्रेटिफिकेशन ढूंढते हैं कि हमने ये किया तो हमें आप क्रेडिट दीजिए या हमें आप यू नो सेलिब्रेट और समथिंग लाइक दैट ये वो लोग हैं ये ऐसे लोग हैं जो अपना काम करते हैं वो जिनके लिए जिम्मेदार होते हैं उनके लिए करते हैं जिनसे प्यार करते हैं उनके लिए करते हैं और वो हर दिन करते हैं उनके आखिरी दिन तक करते हैं मे बी हम उन्हें सेलिब्रेट नहीं कर पाते या मे बी हम उन्हें ढूंढ नहीं पाते लेकिन आई गेस हम उनकी लाइफ और उनकी फीलिंग्स को आई गेस हम हैप्पी तब कर सकते हैं जब जब हम एक ऐसे सोसाइटी को निर्माण करें ऐसे सोसाइटी को वी एंड अप कंस्ट्रक्टिंग क्रिएटिंग वेर यू आर एटलीस्ट एक्नोलॉजिंग एंड टेलिंग देम इन अ वर्बल वे डोंट क्रेडिट देम डोंट डोंट सरप्राइज देम डोंट डोंट यू नो वो बोलते हैं ना हल्ला करना वो नहीं कर रहे हैं बट देन जस्ट लेडिंग देम नो दैट यू नो वॉट थैंक यू Thank you for this. I'm grateful for this, and I guess that way we can become better individuals. That way we can become a better society. बहुत सारे लोग करते हैं, बहुत सारे लोग नजर में आ जाते हैं, बहुत सारे लोग celebrate भी होते हैं, लेकिन उससे भी ज़्यादा percentage के ऐसे लोग हैं जो हर दिन ये काम करते हैं. There's a there's a movie of Robert De Niro, Bronx Tale. उसमें उसका जो बच्चा होता है छोटा बच्चा वो गलत आदतों में पड़ जाता है लाइक इन दे ही जॉइंस द कम्युनिटी ऑफ गैंगस्टर्स एंड ऑल तो वो गैंगस्टर उसको बोलता है कि जो मेहनत करने वाला इंसान होता है ना डेली वेजेस काम करने वाला मेहनत करने वाला इससे कोई लाइफ नहीं होती है सो रॉबर्ट डी नीरो एक्सप्लेन्स टू हिज सन दैट इट्स वेरी ईजी टू टेक अ नाइफ एंड टू यू नो स्टैप सम वन और टू टू स्टील सम स्टील समथिंग फ्रॉम सम वन बट वेक अप एवरी डे एंड डू द सेम थिंग एंड वेक अप अगेन द नेक्स्ट डे and remember and realize that it is just the same but you're doing it hard work and you're doing it for your family that's 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 the reason that working man is the real hard guy so salute yeah. to them and kudos to them and they need to be reached out or at least hamare madhyam se hum jitne logo ko ye feeling de sake at least wo to with dusro se waisa react karenge behave karenge so it would be transforming in its own way mm mm-hmm. absolutely absolutely thank you dania thank you yeah and do, and and uh, just stop me if you know agar main if i just go out of the edge or something uh if i'm it if, if this discussion is getting too in, intense or something like that if uh, man because i don't want to main bhatakna nahi chahta what the exact point or that we are going to talk about which uh, i'm really interested in so you have anything to say till now like your whole experience whole experience podcast As an, of experience? this interview of this podcast yeah <laughs> Yes, I am enjoying every bit of it because I don't come across people with a similar mindset every day, right? It's it's not an everyday thing, and uh, you know to continue to believe in what you believe, and then to come across people who also believe in a similar thing is just like phew, magic happened. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really enjoying the podcast. Thank you so much, and thanks Wonderful. for listening. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Shristi. Shout out to Shristi Shava. Yeah. Shristi Chatwal. Chatwal. I'm saying sir, right? 
Yeah. yeah. So she's the one who made sure that we both connect, and she's the one who made sure that you know this podcast actually happens in uh, reality. So thank you, Shristi. Thank you so much. A wonderful and the most sweetest, sweetest human being I've ever come across in my life. All right. So uh, Tanya ji, what do you think is the future of uh, coaching, or mentors, or guidances mm-hmm. in the upcoming India? How mm-hmm. this career, how this profession so, is gonna, is it gonna take a leap or? how about its trajectory where is it going to go how high or how low do you think is it going to make its mark in the indian society okay so first i would like to bel- uh, um first i would like to start with the difference between coaching and mentorship so when right. it comes to mentoring people you do have an expertise or experience in that particular field for example if you go to gym if you are going for gymming uh there might be a mentor over there who's guiding you what needs to be done how it needs to be done because they have lived through it it's their experience what happens in coaching is we don't need to have that expertise that knowledge because we are not guiding you by telling you hey do this do that this is what is going to work out in coaching we are helping you connect with yourself there's a lot of self awareness that takes place a lot of belief related stuff that happens over there beliefs and behavior patterns that help you to understand who you are and once you know who you are you automatically know what you want to do next what you need to do next what will better align with your life so there is a huge difference between mentorship and uh, coaching so I will not say much about mentoring because I will not know what that industry includes and how far it is going to go. But as far as coaching is concerned, coaching has a huge scope in India, definitely. Like I had mentioned earlier, there's a transition taking place in the thought process, especially with the young adults, with the youth. They are acknowledging, accepting, and they are more open to such experiences, right? They understand that it is not that aap pagal ho gaye ho isse aap coaching ya counseling ke liye ja rahe ho they understand that just like physical health is important mental health is also important so there is now that people have started acknowledging this difference and they are accepting it uh, maybe not whole heartedly but they are accepting it there is a huge market career scope everything for life coaches so there is a lot of scope but let's say it, it is not only about having that scope and things like that you really need to have that kind of empathy compassion and that practicality when you're getting into coaching you need those things and then you will definitely be a good life coach and you have to have excellent listening skills because more than talking and telling and guiding people it's about the way you listen to your coaches or clients so that is of utmost importance and in india people need it i mean yeah i don't doubt it i think i did come across one article that mentioned top 10 career options for the next decade and uh, coaching was fifth or sixth in it life coaching yeah you've got your future sorted yeah my future sorted yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh, but how does a coach brings on to their own material and brings on to their own values and how exactly they know that this is something and this is the way that we need to make the other person feel heard and these are the kind of inputs that we need to share with that certain human being why and why and how do you make up a judgment that this is exactly and this is the limit and this is the quantity in which we have to serve it to the person at a certain stage is it more from the studies that you do is it more from the course that you do or is it more also from the daily lives and daily challenges and demons that you face as an individual mm-hmm. so um at the very core of coaching what lies is the kind of questions that you ask it is always about asking the right questions because in the answers that clients will give you in those answers lies their solution or their answers right so it's mainly about asking the right questions but knowing whether this is the right, right thing or the wrong thing to do we go by the belief that the clients are going to drive the session they have the control of the session we don't have okay it. 
in counseling or in therapy it's the counselors or therapists that have a certain thing probably in mind ki this needs to be done or this is the topic that we are going to look at or we are going to consider in coaching it is the client who decides what needs to be done so for example if if you say ki okay then i'm confused between um whether i should um instead of just conducting podcast over the weekend i should make it three days podcast three days the current job that i'm doing what should i do first hmm consider first you will say podcast i said okay what about podcast so this is happening that is happening that is happening i feel i have i'm not giving enough time if i give more time it will ha- this happen that will happen that will happen happen okay then what do you want to do so you are driving the uh the conversation in the coaching session but as a coach i'm just helping you clear out that fog hmm so, aap sarthi hai chalna unhi ko hai aap rasta dikha rahe hain hum rasta dikha bhi nahi rahe hain hum unhe khali for example if you are uh, you know if you go to lonavla and wahan pe sara itna sara fog ho jata hai right Correct. and if you have if you want to go out and you know just uh try to clear up the air apne hath se so you are doing it right so that is what we as a as coaches are enabling you to do ki utro to karo to aapko okay. karna aapko pata hai but it's more like that yeah it's like a constant drive of motivation that comes from you and they can look up to someone and they can look up to something no no so clients are wholesome creative and resourceful okay we are with them in their car but we are in the back seat okay. they are driving it so we are not giving them hope or motivation we are just helping them look inside themselves for that hope and motivation it is the push that they need to go ahead in whatever that they are doing but if you don't have the desire to change if you don't have that desire to seek that solution nobody can help you so if you have that yeah. definitely go for coaching matlab your life is definitely going to transform yeah like for example if if some people like some people are lone warriors so i believe uh, probably they don't have resources to reach out to someone or probably they don't want to reach out to someone based on uh, individual personality differences so i guess they try to establish their own coach within themselves who acts as their inner voice that okay you know what stay it easy do this do that it's going to be okay i'm there with you so for the people who take that uh, progressive step ahead and reach out to someone and reach out to a coach so it makes them feel heard and it makes them feel believed that she's she's there i'm going to be okay i just need to hear myself and i just need to hear her and i just need to act accordingly it's just going to be fine i guess mm-hmm. uh, this is what it is more about yes okay 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 and uh, we are definitely going to add a lot of creatives and a lot of your work links so that you know every user that's going to watch this and is watching this will definitely go out and check out your work check out your course and speaking of your course Tanya Mehra please tell me about your action based decision course decision making course yeah action based decision making is a course on decision making of course but you know how whenever you have to make a decision how often have you checked in with yourself first before exploring or understanding all the other external factors involved in it how my philosophy my philosophy is uh, something which probably you can call um, insane or something like that because uh, my philosophy is like the moment i feel i can't do the the moment i feel i can't do this or okay do i need to give it a thought is the exact moment i do it because if i stop or if i wait behind that moment or after that moment i know i'll never be able to do it because my constant state of doubt mein chala jaunga wo mujhe rok lega meri bedia mujhe khud rok legi so in the moment when you know deep within the this is the moment i just go and go ahead and do it so yeah that's that's the that's my approach with decision making but yeah obviously when there are serious matters involved and when you have ample amount of time to think upon and discuss upon certain things so i do check up all the x y z's north west south east and how it's going to affect me and how can i change the course of this so yeah it involves a lot of uh, knowledge research 
and also my intent towards what the results are going to be after i take this decision soch samajh ke that's wonderful soch samajh ke absolutely apna vivek istemal karke sahi galat ka understanding karke that's ha that's good हाँ oh, वैसे बीच में uh, हिंदी भी बोला करेंगे ना वरना लोग बोलेंगे तो इंग्लिश में पटर पटर किए जा रहे हैं ऐसा नहीं हम हिंदी भी बहुत अच्छी तरीके से जानते हैं हम बहुत अच्छा वार्तालाप कर सकते हैं बोलिए तानिया जी <laughs> या बहुत अच्छे से वार्तालाप कर सकते हैं और हम करेंगे गुड आइडिया टेक within the 120 seconds act on it otherwise if you prolong that decision if you prolong that idea it's never going to pan out the way it would have had you acted on it in the first 120 seconds but that is about acting on ideas and what you are mentioning here is about yes or no should i do this or should i not do this decision making also involves a lot of option so I don't know if you have ever experienced this, but you reach a point where you are considering whether to go for A, B, or C option because all three of them seem seem relevant to you and your life. But how do you choose that one that will be perfect for you and that will completely align with you and with your life? That is what we do in this particular course. So this decision making course is designed. There are three modules. The first one is more about you know description. What what are decisions? What are the problems people are facing? And the internal reference point, which are the values, and the connection between values and decision making. This is what we do in the first module. The second module is really interactive and very practically laid out. So in the second module, every individual who joins the course. gets to know what is their core personal value you know okay what their values what do they live by subconsciously all the decisions that you have made so far in your life have been influenced by your values but unfortunately you don't even know what your values are so you know the kind of the kind of life you are living right now you don't have that knowledge which is actually drive it is the driving force of your life so in the second module we are focusing on give helping you give that access access to your driving force your personal values that have been driving all your decisions so far in the third one we are in, in the third module we are helping you utilize your values on a practical basis with your decisions so the only tool you need to consider while making any of your decisions are your values internal reference point something that you are already doing subconsciously but now you are consciously aware of it. okay so the yeah tool, yeah so that is what we are doing in this particular decision making course and it is so beautiful because you know it's very practical and engaging it's not that you have to study there's a lot of study material no you just have to actually pen down the things whatever we are discussing and it's really interactive it's it's a very beautiful course <laughs> it's one of a kind it's one of a kind and uh, it's okay. releasing on 6th of february right that's what you told me okay so how can the users and how will the people be able to access it and you know be able to subscribe it or reach out to you obviously i'm going to be putting in the links but is there any special way or special tarika or any kind of discount coupons or something like that that you would like to give exclusively for the users who are watching this podcast absolutely so i'm creating i will be sharing a code for your viewers and they can access that code so uh, the link that you will share it is basically tanamhera.com/courses slash so you can access it but if this is difficult to understand you can just go on my instagram page coach at the rate tanya a uh, coach dot hmm. tanya and there yeah. you will find the link and access this post 
And when you go to the payment gateway, you can add this particular code that I will be sharing with you and your users get 75% discount on the code. All, Absolutely. Your, all the people who are listening to your podcast, Raj. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. So, 75% so math and Bruce. For the exclusive yes. course, decision be, <laughs> action-based decision making, Coach Dot Tanya Mehra is her Instagram ID. If you wish to follow her, and you should definitely follow her, your life's problems will be solved. And if you can't solve them directly in one-on-one session, mein, you will get even you will get enough pointers and you will get enough material and enough creatives to at least you know understand your next step to have your questions answered. in a way that you mm-hmm. never believed before or in a way that you never had a thought before so do follow her and make sure that you subscribe to her new course which is going to release soon i guess in a week's time that is 6th of february and i'll be sharing the link it will be in the description okay okay tanya uh, you told me about the three modules are these modules going to be creative are these modules going to be visually based or are these modules going to be verbal based where in the person would be hearing it in form of audio or are you going to be there as a coach as a transformational coach telling them what to do so like can they see you can they interact with you uh they can see me because this is a video course um okay. but you can't interact me if uh, interact with me directly on the course but if you want to um you can always drop us an email and we will be responding to you right away also for the first uh, 100 we have clarity session so individual one to one sessions will take place when it comes to this particular decision making uh mm-hmm. decision making course but this course has been structured in such a way that you know you can pause the video reflect whatever has been said and then continue watching it we have even kept that interlude, interlude part where you you know you are supposed to jot down some things and we are there interacting with you or on the screen where you can engage so you really need your notepad and your notebook or uh, ipad whatever you prefer to make your notes and go ahead with it so it's not only descriptive it is step by step and practical method that we have used over here so that you are constantly engaged and you're not getting bored also every chapter is for a uh, maximum 10 minutes and in those oh. 10 minutes you exactly know what you have to do next yeah and i have incorporated coaching uh, coaching sessions as well right so in coaching we don't tell you what to do but we are guiding you through the questions right mm-hmm. and helping you think yourself that is the exact same thing that we are doing in this course as well and that is how you get to know what are your core values and how you can use your core values to make better decisions in practical life in the real world yes absolutely and how many chapters are there of these 10 minutes of such 10 minutes how many chapters are there what is the length of this course it's a 90 minutes course and there are okay. three modules every module has three three chapters so yeah so instead of watching a netflix special you can watch this and get something Absolutely. really 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 cool get something yeah. really value adding in your lives and uh, Ooh, as you, you know, said it's you yeah so when it comes to netflix you almost take 45 minutes to choose which movie or series to start watching right once you do this course you will reduce that time to 5 minutes at the max how wonderful is that <laughs> yeah i guess i'll be needing this course then I'll be needing yeah. this course because even the Netflix filters are not going to help me, and are not helping me to to you know to pick what I want to see, to pick what I want to see. Because I just want to okay, is this nice? Is this nice? Is this nice? Is this nice? I guess my decision kisi bhi jis mein bahut achhi se le lunga, but then Netflix selection is another one hell of a task. So all the Netflix uh, users and Netflix yeah. and chill people they can come over here and they can you know get their issue sorted. And uh, jokes apart, Tanya, but uh, congratulations Absolutely. to you. and uh, i'm really 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 proud of you and thank you so much for you know for coming up and uh, presenting it through the podcast uh, it's such an honor and i feel very happy and i feel ma- i'll make sure that you know this message reaches out to the best of the people and to maximum amount of uh, individuals who would be interested into this course and everyone obviously who will be watching this podcast will be definitely giving it a check because all the links are going to be there and all the genuine users are going to be there uh but i'll make sure that through my insta handle as well i'll give it a different shout out when it releases on the 6th of february with obviously the code that you're going to share with me and i'm looking forward to it yeah 
I'm looking forward to it. Uh, is there anything regarding the budget or the cost pricing of it that you would want to share or express with the users so that they can have a little bit idea about this? Sure. So the original cost of the course is five one double nine, but because I'm giving seventy five percent off to your viewers, it will be for one two double nine. So almost thirteen hundred. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, yeah. that's such a generous <laughs> thing to do. Such a generous thing to do. Okay, and how much of your time and how much of your efforts went into making this? When did you start making this? When did you think about this? So when I thought about this, decision making has been something uh, that has been, you know, I was told by a lot of people that Tanya, you need to make quicker decision. Somewhere, definitely, that was the motivation. But I also started noting. Uh, noticing that people around me are taking so much of time to make the decision. Sometimes I'm like, just, just make the decision, all right. Don't, don't, don't bother me so much. And that got me wondering, and I started thinking, what's, what, what's going on? Why is it difficult to make decisions for people? Mm-hmm. You know, and how can they make better and faster and quicker decisions? So earlier, um, to be very honest, I wanted to uh, create a course on value first of all because I feel all your problems will be solved once you know what are your values. There's a different kind of self confidence, self trust that takes place the moment you understand what are your values because you know uh, the gap that existed that you don't understand. Yeah, why did I fight with this person? It was not even important, and the gap that. Uh, okay, why can't these people see what I'm seeing? So hmm. all those gaps are filled and answered the moment you realize what are your core values. Because and values can be been... developed, and values can be uh, get rid of, right? If something that you want to get rid of, you can get rid of. If something that you want to adapt, and you know, make sure that these values are part of your daily lives and your personality, you can adapt them. I guess these these are accessible that way. the core values of a human being or is it tough to get rid of them or to adopt some new ones completely depends on how you see those values so the very fact that those are your core person values there is not going to be a sense ki okay i don't like it i don't want this to be a value but if at all there is this case then you can consciously decide okay this value is playing a role in me right now for example pa- power is one of your core values you identify power as one of your core values but in relationships exercising power can lead to you know rifts and unrest in any kind of relationship so there is a possibility that you will feel that no i don't want a power to play a role in your relationship this very awareness that power is your value and when again you find yourself in a situation where you are in a relationship with someone and you see yourself exercising your power your value you are consciously taking a step back okay i don't want this to affect my relationship so the mere awareness of your value makes you conscious of your actions and then you can decide whether to go ahead with however things are going or whether to change something so instead of power there is something else that will resonate with it another point that is really important over here is every value means something else to every individual so now i said value uh, i said power right power to me could be that having complete control over something what does power mean to you power means to me responsibility it's like a weapon that, that you exactly know when to use how to use and how much to use if you abuse it it will come back to you it will haunt you if you use it wisely people would respect you you would be in self control exactly. and that is so beautiful that is a beautiful uh, meaning that you've just given to power i i'm, I'm looking at it that way for the very first time thank you for this perspective on power but do you see the difference that already exists for me power was you know having the control of something for you power is a responsibility knowing how much to use it and how well to use it so in the course i also help you to understand what is your meaning and understanding of these terms and how you want to connect it with it so in your case if power is a responsibility and knowing how much to use it and if we take the same uh, example of relationship 
you will automatically consciously change it from power to responsibility the dynamics of it will always change be it a relationship or be it any professional or personal collaboration or even with yourself even with yourself because sometimes uh, with power you end up hurting yourself because That's it takes over you true. rather than you controlling and it it takes over you rather than you controlling it absolutely and just imagine not knowing that it is a value called power that is creating this kind of an unrest inside of you so these are all the miraculous things and miraculous understandings that we are going to come across through your course and that too within 10 minutes i can only imagine <laughs> how much effort and how much you know how much uh, belief and how much days and nights obviously went to create such a wonderful creative and tightly packed module where you exa- where, where, where i guess you exactly know what you're going to look look out for and you will come out with a good answer and something which is target based and not weak people will come out with a clear and absolute understanding of themselves and uh, they'll acknowledge their values but also at the same time they will understand their values and understand their usage in an actionable manner where they are using it in a positive and a responsible way so yeah uh, i guess it's a transformational coach where you're also teaching them how to take decisions but also turning them into better individuals in that course मुझे यही कपड़ा चाहिए because of the course because you know your values you become so clear in your head that making any decisions it just increases it increases the speed at which you make decisions and you are able to choose what is important what is not important so it is like a tool but also like a parameter or a reference point for you to make decisions it is often that we are not able to we don't have a parameter while making decisions kya kya consider kare we can't have 10 right so it is just hmm. bringing it down to one but and then you can make the decisions after that the beauty of this course is okay that what the framework helps you to make any decisions that you've made if you made a bad decision if you feel like i can't reverse this decision it will help you to understand what is it you can exactly do to make any stupid decision that you've made a better or the best decision of your life Okay so we are almost done here yeah. we chatted a lot this has been such a wonderful podcast for me bahut kuch seekhne mila got too philosophical obviously and uh, we spoke about a lot of things i got to know you as a person as a human being and i realized that you know what uh, philosophy is not exactly about human brain but it is exactly about human beings and every human being is different and truly blessed and truly magical in their own way no matter how horrible or how wonderful they are but everyone has their own usp and i wish uh, the people do definitely look out and find their usp in your course and i'm damn sure about it that's going to be a successful run and kudos to you for that cheers to you for that i'm quite sure that you will have a successful run with this course of yours and uh, kudos to you cheers to you for that and i am uh, looking forward to uh, meet you up personally and uh, also waiting your for the courses that you will be making ahead in the future and and, I, and i'm damn sure that your journey that you began with wearing multiple hats discovering and rediscovering your inner self your creative self your professional self and your per, tru, truly personal self indeed you will you have a long way to go and you have a lot of lives to change and um, yeah you will eventually you will eventually be there i guess where you can finally say you know what i did my bit and you will have that breath <laughs> It's good. It's all good. I am doing my bit. 
it's all good yeah and with yeah. raj i'm very happy because first you are going to make people aware about your uh, city bhandara they will know that place because of you and you are doing an amazing thing by starting this podcast especially your journey and your story right it's not an easy thing to just take you okay i don't want to be an engineer and i want to do in something in the creative space and then to actually go ahead and do it so yeah. kudos to you. you are definitely going to be an inspiration to a lot of people in their journeys aapki zuban pe sarasvati and much love to you for that much love to you for that much respect and i wish you all the love luck success and everything that makes you happy in this world to be by the your side and in your heart and in your soul yeah let's take it all philosophical at the end yeah <laughs> So you tell me uh was it transforming for you this podcast and uh were you able to present yourself as a transformational coach and were you able to cover all the pointers that you in the first place came out and uh, really 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 felt like saying it all were you able to express your complete self I was able to complete myself I think uh sorry I was able to completely express just... myself completely express myself i was able to completely yeah. express myself you know i was really comfortable you made sure that you know it in this conversation we are really having a conversation i felt really comfortable over here it's very important uh, because if you have if you're not comfortable to you know wo flow mein nahi baitha so kudos to you did an amazing job there thank you so much and uh, this was definitely transforming for me because you know uh, getting a chance to reflect on your journey how things have been and uh, uh, you know because we all have that moments of you know, you know where you are questioning yourself self doubt and everything so this conversation this podcast is going to be something that i will remember that will help me to go ahead listen all that uh, had happened you had discussed all of these things so yeah go ahead you you're doing well so yeah. this is going to be that conversation that i will you know keep in mind all the time thank you so much for that Raj. it's my pleasure and it's my pleasure it's yeah. a privilege and i'm grateful and I thank you so much for taking out your time and doing this uh for me for your podcast with raj and uh, definitely after this conversation and after this podcast whenever it releases i'm trying to look at life with a different point of view because uh, every human is special and it feels good to find the common point of happiness in this varied world with a lot of distractions so yeah yeah what are your key takeaways from today's conversation before we end the podcast that it's okay to rediscover and discover yourself at any point of your time in your journey beautiful your first one it's important second one is okay <laughs> um you must love something and you must protect that dream that you have and it's okay if you feel like changing it because it's part of your growth and you grow by getting detached from things you move to other place by leaving one place so if you want to upgrade to your newer self you have to let go of your older self but the values still remain there as your core mm. belief and the third thing mm. it's all it's all going to be good it's all okay just be happy life's all an illusion it's your journey do what matters to you do what makes you happy and you will end up laughing just like both of us <laughs> yeah i will throw in a philosophical word here amor fati it means love of one's fate good or bad you love your fate your third point directly correlates with amor fati it's all destined to be yes all right tanya let's wrap it up Thank you so much for doing this. Such an esteemed yeah. guest, and uh, you're the founding stone. You're the first female female guest on this podcast, your podcast with Raj. So you're the founding stone for this legacy uh, that will keep carry on, and I'll try and make sure my best to bring out more stories, to bring out more journeys, and to bring out more inspirational uh, individuals and candidates like transformational coach Tanya Mehra today with us on your podcast with Raj. Hope this has been transforming for you. See you soon. and all the links all the creatives all the description you will go ahead and read it and you will redirect your way to the journey and to the course of tanya mehra kudos to that and all the best stay safe it was nice doing this thank you raj okay
I loved it. I enjoyed every bit of it. Thank you. That makes me so happy. Take care. अगर ये एपिसोड पॉडकास्ट और बातचीत पसंद आए तो लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब के बेल आइकन को दबाकर हमें जरूर बताएं। सेंड योर पॉजिटिव वाइब्स क्योंकि नेगेटिव तो सिर्फ कोविड का चलता है दिन महीने और साल खत्म होते हैं एहसास नहीं तो इस एहसास का इंतजार करिएगा श्रोतागण लौड़ेगा जल्द के और जबरदस्त योर पॉडकास्ट विद राज